all right so before we get started i would like to mention uh, different ways of doing the real estate photography so one is very famous which is called flash bracketing or exposure bracketing the other one is that you're using external flash in your hand and doing multiple exposures and then mapping all those shots on photoshop and the one i'll be showing you today is the technique which i normally use in daily day-to-day -day photo shoots for the real estate this one is that i'm normally shooting on camera flash and uh, as you can see one of the most important thing when you're doing real estate photography is always shoot on raw because it allows you to play with your image to the maximum extent because it reads the maximum data and it allows you to do the different variations in your photo so always keep this in mind when you're doing real estate photography you have to shoot whether you're doing uh, multiple exposures uh, if you are doing uh, flash bracketing or exposure bracketing or you plan to map the pictures on Photoshop later always 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 keep this in mind that you have to shoot on raw format regardless whatever the camera you're using either you're using Canon you're using Nikon you're using Sony whatever comes handy whatever you like that is upon your preference I'm using 5d mark 4 these days to do the real estate photos let's just quickly jump on to the editing part so this is the first tutorial that i'm making for you in which i'll be showing you very slowly that which tools to use how to edit i will be using the tools very slowly so you can have an idea of what exactly i'm doing to the photo and i will also be showing you the before and after results so let's just get started with this photo so here are the highlights okay so the first thing that you need to do when you put a picture you need to do the lens correction always do that in the first place and then make sure turning down the highlights adjust the shadows a bit see turning up the shadows we get the sofa clear all right so now holding the option if you're using Mac so you can do it by holding the option then pressing white so it will tell you what is the maximum extent you can take the whites up as soon as you see the black turning into blue or white that is the alarm that you need to stop okay and if you're using Windows you do the same by holding alter key and like I just showed you okay same goes with this blacks holding the option on Mac alter on Windows so these spots shows that you need to get rid of them by just increasing the blacks there you go okay now we are done fixing the whites, blacks, shadows, highlights. We need to add a little bit of clarity here. Shadows again, as much as you'd like. Now as you can see, the blue sky outside the windows, we need to make this prominent. And also we need to get rid of this yellow yellow rooftop so the best way to do is pick up the color picker go to this yellow roof click on it you see it turned the yellow is vanished from the roof and the walls all right so now what we want the image is not straight we need to make this straight and the target is to make the sky more bluer and to get more clarity here around the objects here is our hue saturations luminance so by just increasing the blues here you can see the difference in the 
sky that we can see outside the windows and turning down the luminous will surely make it more prominent as you can see the magic just happened here and if you think that this area needs to be more brightened up you can select this shade hold it down like this with your mouse or a trackpad and then turn up the exposure a little bit so you get this there brightened up now this area needs to be brightened up so we take the circular mask tool and raise the exposure a bit there you go all the areas that you feel the need to be brightened up you can use this circular marquee tool and expand as per your requirement and just turn up the exposure in the selected area and you will see the magic now as I mentioned earlier we need to straighten the image we can do it many ways we can also try these options this one did the other option is to select this tool and draw the lines respectively draw the core lines to give the information to the Lightroom that what lines you want to be straightened you can easily drop to four lines like this but in these two lines I'm good so far we can see the before and after results what we have so we have come from this image to this image by all the tweaks that I've done in like maybe four to five minutes maximum I'm doing it slow so that you can pick it up easily and if you feel the need you can also you know just play around with the contrast texture clarity and there's one more amazing feature in this Lightroom is that you can particularly select you can select this tool to particularly raise any color saturation up or down see I pressed this tool on this wall and raised it up so it raised all the oranges can you feel the difference I'll just do the command Z so that it will take us to the previous version of the image now you see this here I'm rolling my track bar by holding this tool here it is giving me saturation here so we are getting the true colors of everything so yeah that's it my image is ready I don't need to do anything else I'm happy with the results I hope you are too and here is the before and after of this image you can see the difference the clarity bang here it is now I'm just going to export this right click export export it any size you like so I'm gonna do no, I won't change the size and yes while exporting your images always make sure that you have 
tick this sharpen for screen amount high and let me select the location I'm gonna save it to the desktop choose export my image is ready let's go and find out where did this image go should be here here it is you can see this image right here you can enlarge it and see the clarity that we have achieved and the blue skies outside and the furniture color of course everything is super neat and clean thank you so much for watching hopefully i'll be sharing more videos regarding photography and editing thank you